I was passionate, you see, about what I was doing. I didn't know all the answers, but when I was passionate, but when you're passionate about something, you will find the answers because your heart is in it. Because sometimes you never know when it comes to the heart. Now I know that none of you in this room will have the same type of battle that I have, that you won't have to fight the same type of demons that I had. But I know too that we all face self-doubt sometimes. We all lose sight of our dreams sometimes. We all fear something in life sometimes. We all wonder if we make enough of a difference, whether or not we make enough of a contribution. We can all use a checkup <laughs> from the neck up, as Zig Ziglar would say. And I can tell you this as well. When I began to put myself in the picture and I gave up the fear of the past, began to believe that I could make a difference, that I could make a contribution, that I could even learn, it seemed to me that simultaneously I set into motion a miraculous series of events which continued to guide my life. It was then that I discovered Hurricane Carter's book, The 16th Round. And guess what? I paid 25 cents for that book. Can you imagine that? 25 cents changing your entire life. The point is this. I am convinced that we all have our own battles with ourselves that we need to fight every now and then. We all lose sight of our dreams every now and then. We all imagine the worst instead of the best every now and then. We all face challenges and hurdles and difficulties in life every now and then. They may look different to you. They may well be of a different sort, but they often have the same impact. They inhibit us and limit us from achieving our dreams. When we lose sight today of our dreams, when we begin to think about the worst instead of the best, somehow it seems to me that we lose our ability to be flexible as well. And when that happens, we begin to fear all of the changes that can occur around us. And before we know it, we begin to fear change itself. And believe me, change can be difficult for many people, even at the best of times. But in times of difficulty, and in times of change, I believe that it's all the more important to hold on to the magic and power of imagination. There is no better place where the power of imagination is exemplified than right here in this room, than right here in all your hopes, in all your dreams, in all the wor work that you continue to do each and every day. And remember, I'm here simply to encourage you that you have to continue steadfast with your efforts. You have to be able to imagine nothing less than the best. When you imagine the best, then the best things in life can happen. Look at what happened in my life. The second quote that helps to shore me up when the going gets rough are the words of George Bernard Shaw. Here is what he says with regards to circumstances and to trying. People, he said, are always blaming their circumstances for what they are. I don't believe in circumstances. The people who get on in this world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want. And if they can't find them, they make them. Oh, I like that. <laughs> now, I read you those quotes for good reason. I find them inspirational, and I certainly hope that you do as well. More importantly, I share them with you to make a, a point. I believe when you imagine the best, that belief transpires into a positive attitude that helps you dig down and find a little bit more heart. And hey, you never know, no matter what the challenge, maybe all it takes is a bit more heart. And with the mind and the heart intact, you can develop and nurture an incredible strength to persevere when others are telling you your goals are unrealistic. You simply never know when it comes to the heart you can never give up on trying. There truly is no greater investment than in people. Really, when it comes down to it, isn't that exactly what my Canadian do-gooder friends from, did for me? They invested in me then. She goes, the quintessential example of what I like to call the global citizen. They I gave me today in my a chance to contribute. They were entrepreneurs, business-minded people, but they did it not because they wanted to get something out of it. They did it simply because they could. They didn't just 
draw the line in the sand and think of the cost. They did it <coughs> first by trying to figure out whether or not they could meet my needs. In this great country of ours, in your professions, in your education, and the reason we have all come together, you are perhaps today in the best position to appreciate the importance of investment in people. Continue to cherish the opportunities that you have to learn. I got in the hand when and where you can. Continue to cherish the opportunity you have to help assist others in achieving their dreams as well. And remember, I am here simply to remind you that you have to continue steadfast with your efforts because you simply never know the extent of the greatest things that can happen when you try. I believe that the power of the human spirit itself is a great force. I believe that the power of the individual to make things happen exists in each and every one of us. I believe that we all have a special gift in life. I believe that we all have a story, an ability to, to, to achieve greatness, both individually and as a team. As you go forth with your endeavors, as you reflect on your own lives, personally and professionally, as you work to build the organization, the work environment, the community, the school, the country that we all want, remember, take the power of the human spirit itself on your side and watch out for those negative inputs. Watch out for those people that will tell you it can't be done and interrupt you while you're doing it. Watch out for the tendency that we all have to resist change. Watch out for that little voice that says, I can't do this. Remember, be flexible in your approach. There may not be uh, an obvious answer, but I believe the answer is always within. By way of closing now, I want to share with you those three promises that I say to myself each day. And I, I would simply ask that you make of them what you will. I promise myself today that I will not be deterred by the challenges and difficulties that lay ahead, that I'll stay focused and I, I'll stay positive. I promise myself today that I will remember to put myself in the picture. I'll keep hope, believe in the heart, and I'll embrace the power of the human spirit itself. And I promise myself today that I'll be ready when opportunity knocks. I'll start where I am, work with what I got, and do what I gotta do.